I can only think that Aaron hasn't seen that performance yet, or else he would have said something. Or maybe not. I don't know. Aaron did post a video of he and Lise unboxing all their presents. And they're very excited about the Big Dog's blankets, but I don't even think they realize the best part. Those blankets are slankets. They have sleeves. Anyway... Happy Tuesday. It is March 20th, 2012. It is exactly 6 o'clock, give or take. Current temperature is 63 degrees, and it's cloudy, cold, and gray, and may rain again. Boy, did it rain last night. It was very compressed, too, where it was like, everything's fine, everything's fine. Then there was this enormous wind, and then there was this sideways rain. Incredible. First real big rain of the season. And as if on cue... All the grass perked right up. The grass that's left, anyway. I, I killed a lot of grass last year. But lots of green this morning. And although it's very green now, there was some I left. I finally moved the aloe plants out of the house and back out on the porch. Hopefully they will stay alive. It's hard to kill aloe. I have done it. I overwatered during one winter. I have not made that mistake again, but... They're not very robust. I would, I would like to see some robustness. So hopefully having them out there now, all's good. This is my Hope Butter shirt. There is actually a city in Minnesota called Hope. Well, it's not a city. It's a tiny little hamlet. But they have a, a, a fine creamy that make wonderful organic butter. If you're into paying five bucks a pound for butter, and I am not, but it is really good. If you're Canadian like James, it's not a ho it's not the Hope Butter shirt, it's the Hope Butt shirt. Yes, but really, it's the Hope Butter shirt. Grocery store was out of uh, Wild Cherry Diet Pepsi, which is why I have the Dew. Which is all right. Highly caffeinated. I expect I'll be twitching in a few hours. What were my ratings for last week? Monday, 34 viewers. Tuesday, 27. Wednesday, 26. Thursday, 33. Friday, 26. There's really no good reason why I would have one over, over another. Unless it's just people are bored the next day. So they see the most recent one. I don't have a lot of comments to discuss, which is why I've been BSing instead. But there are questions about the new Tacos Locos Doritos shell taco. Have I had it yet? I have not. I sh I've seen the ads, and I want to, but I just haven't been to Taco Bell. The next time I'm at Taco Bell, I promise you, I'll have one. And... You know, maybe it should be this week. Should have been today, I guess. I had the time. But I had to walk to the other building and walk back. Well, I didn't have to, but I did. It's good exercise. Do enough walking, and then you can eat a Tacos Locos taco. Doritos Locos. What's it called? Let's go to TacoBell.com and find out. Bong. Doritos Locos Tacos. Oh, and they have a box. Awesome, just got awesomer. And these slides are moving so quickly, I can't even read them. Which kind of makes me wonder what the point is. Taste awesomeness. Yes! I will. Everybody hates the Supreme, though. Which scares me, because I love Supreme Tacos. I love tomatoes and sour cream. 
and the word is tomatoes and sour cream may not be the best thing for this Doritos Locos shell. Enjoy a delicious Doritos Locos Taco Supreme Burrito Supreme Crunchy Taco and a refreshing medium fountain drink. Medium, so that's what? 56 ounces? Click item to learn more. This box contains at least 600 calories. 250, no, 370, 400. Okay, it's under 500 calories. I take it back. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm adding up the wrong column. 200 calories in a Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme. I find that hard to believe, but we'll go with it. 420 calories in a Burrito Supreme Beef, and 170 calories in a Crunchy Taco. So you not only get a Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme, you get a Crunchy Taco. But, uh, I bet they let you sub a soft taco for that. They usually do for those boxes. But with what they've got there, 200 plus 420 plus 170, 790 calories. Not counting the 400 calories worth of soda you're going to give yourself because you won't get diet because you're treating yourself. I don't know, man. Sodium, well, probably less sodium than one Marochan instant lunch. Thank you. Sounds like I got an email, but not about a video. Let's talk about the Timberwolves. Man, last night they retired Chris Mullins' jersey in Golden State, in Oakland, not Golden State, but the Golden State Warriors retired the jersey number 17, and that bloated halftime from the normal 14 minutes to almost 39 minutes. And the only positive to come out of it was the fact that the Warriors fans booed the new owner out of the building, which was hilarious. They're unhappy that he traded Monta Ellis and... Sometimes you got to make those tough calls, and fans just weren't having it. But I guess they're not happy that the Warriors are essentially tanking the year. And to show you how much the year was tanked, the Timberwolves ended a three-game losing streak in not dominant fashion, but emphatic fashion. The highlight was the dagger being an Anthony Tolliver dunk, Tolliver being an ex-Warrior. And Tolliver hadn't been getting many minutes recently, but Darko was injured. Peck injured himself again. Uh, Bees, I think, was injured. A lot of injuries, man. It's, it's tough. Fortunately, there isn't a game today. It was a back-to-back -back yesterday, the tail end of a back-to-back. -back. The next game is tomorrow, right? I think that's right. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow they're playing the Spurs. And I think there's like some halftime ceremony there, too. They like having those during Wolves games, but so far they haven't uh, resulted in wins for the, the home team. The Mavericks had their ring ceremony at the Timberwolves game. Timberwolves won that one. Just interesting. So, one and a half games out of the playoffs, one and a half games behind Houston who they held the tiebreaker over. Unfortunately, they did not have the tiebreaker over the Nuggets, having a disastrous loss over the weekend, which really wasn't much fun to watch at all. At least last night, even though we had to stay up till midnight before the game was over, it was a win, so you don't feel too bad about it. The upside of a game starting at 9.30 is you see most of it, even though you watched Raw. Not that Raw was worth watching, but we're used to it. We watch it every week. Yep. Also, we had uh, leftover corned beef and cabbage, which is better the second day because it's just had even longer to sit in its own spice packet juice. I had the traditional meal. We had to make it Sunday because Saturday we had a family dinner out at Nye's where they had their own corned beef and cabbage, which I have to say not as good as mine. Can I get away with saying that? Because Nye's is the best bar in the country, as determined by somebody sometime. And they really are a great place, and the Polish food is outrageous, and the prime rib is outrageous. But it was St. Patrick's Day, so you had to have corned beef and cabbage. But their carrots were really good. They were these little tiny, probably organic carrots. And I even ate the stems. Why not? 
didn't have any gastrointestinal problems the next day, so I think I did okay. Uh-oh, I'm out of time. Just as well. So, let's get it back to you. Please ask a question or leave a comment or give me something to talk about. Figure out why I'm... don't look like I'm straight. Well, anyway, that's for me to figure out. But I'll see you in about 23 hours, probably. Thanks for watching. So long.